Hey everyone, this is the Zero Prime, and welcome to a uh, Let's Play and also a talk about um, recent events while playing the game Power Wash Simulator, which surprisingly is becoming a um, very well known game as part, part of the Simulator franchise where essentially we just have a Power Wash. And we just clean, basically. And instead of jumping into the career, I figured I'd jump into one of the DLCs here. Um, yeah, let's do Midgard. And everything, so... Right. But yeah, essentially, with a power wash, we just clean things until the yeah, job is done. Nothing to it. But, um, while doing this and, you know, giving my thoughts and opinions on the game, there is some stuff that, yeah, just felt like talking about for recent events that I haven't really done for a uh, good while. And one of the things is, um, well, by now, by September 17th, I would have been in, you know, Romania, spending time with my dad before making the, the trip back home in the States to be with the, well, to be with the, bah. yeah, you can tell this is not going to be an easy conversation, besides having a little, uh, Stuffy knows and what I have to talk about. But basically, I would have been about ready to go home, but sad to say that in July, after eight years, my, well, now my ex decided to end it, end the relationship, and since then, just been. Single and everything. And I'm not going to go into details about what happened and why, you know, you know, and everything like that. Because the one thing I always believed in that, yeah, you can talk about some things, but there are some personal stuff and matters that you shouldn't really, you know, put out on the internet. Otherwise, you know, there are some people that would take that information and use that against you. So, instead of just talking about, you know, what happened and everything, I do want to talk about the aftermath, basically. Because I can tell you a lot that, and even now, that it's... What's not pleasant? You know, not enough, you know, not much else, you know. Because it's hard to go into the exact details because the pain that I went through at that time and for a good four months since it happened, it's very painful because. Anyone that's been in a relationship for that long, or, you know, that deep in the relationship, all of it to end, you know, in a bad way, it's not pleasant. It's really, really not pleasant that... I mean, the best ways I can describe what, it, you know, felt at that time and what I'm still recovering is the feeling of, of being a failure that felt like the times that I spent, the, the things that I've done amounted to nothing and also felt like every past mistakes I've made even though regardless about talking about them afterwards and resolving them and everything. Still being brought up almost like it's being weaponized and all that. 
it's just very painful. It really is. And not gonna sugarcoat it, but at that moment, that night when it happened, I literally no windows, no other ways of saying it. I literally broke down and cried and I felt like I was dead. Emotionally dead. Defeated. Very hurt and I'm not gonna lie, but I also felt like that I wanted it wanted the pain to stop, like I wanted to you know die as well <sighs> like I said it's just anyone that's ever been in my situation you know it's never that easy you know, in the beginning that... It's just not that easy. And even now after... This many time The time has passed and everything... It's still not easy. I mean... It's one thing... That this relationship was, um... You know, if this relationship only was like, you know, a month to a year, then, you know, you could just say, ah, it sucks, but then, you know, you can easily recover. But when you've been in a relationship longer than that, especially like eight years and doing everything, trying to build a future and all that, and it's utterly crushing. Mentally and emotionally crushing that. It's so painful. I mean, it's hard to really put it into words because. Whoop. That's not the right muzzle. Not that one. There we go. There we go. It's not that easy to describe it because... It's just one of those emotions, you know, that you feel that... That you just can't really describe into words, you know, in exact detail. I mean, I can use, like, countless words to describe the pain, the other defeat, and everything. But even then, that doesn't really do the justice to describe what it feels like. And to me, at the end of it all, it's just one gigantic tragedy. That like at this point right now, as the recording of this and everything... I would have been, you know, like I said in... Romania, spending time, spending the last, you know, some time with my dad before preparing to fly back home to the U.S. on the 4th. And seeing my friends, people that are close that I consider family, and above all, just seeing, well, back then, the love of my life. The airport when I arrive home. <sighs> it's just not that easy, so. But because of that, I'm still here in Beijing 
working as an English teacher at the same time just just trying to heal recover and especially figure out where to go from here then and that's not to say that you know Jeez, this game is like really detail exact detailed. Yeesh. Okay, let me see. Uh let me just check here real quick. Door windows and an exhaust still? Excuse me. But, um... Ah, no, stop. There we go. Now, there we go. But, yeah. It's not to say that, you know... Like, compared to, like, you know, in the beginning, yeah, I was, I was you know, depressed and extremely sad that yeah, even right now, I still feel that. At this point, you know, since then, I feel that, you know, I can move on with my life while be able to endure, carry, adapt, you know, just to... just still be able to feel these emotions, yes, but not let them hold me back, you know, from doing what I have to do and everything. That's the one positive I can say about, you know, and that progress in that regard. So at least I can say that. <sighs> but yeah. And the reason why I just want to at least get this out there is because, you know, that there are other people like myself that, you know, go through the same thing that I went through. And for some, they have, you know, a lot of help and support. And like I did, especially like, you know, with people, you know, checking up on me online and also in person that know about what happened. But there are some people that just don't have that. And that basically for some it's hard for them to really recover from that. Like they feel utterly alone. And usually I just want to... At least talk it out there, you know, talk about, you know, especially the aftermath of it, at least, so that way for people that are going through right now what I'm going through, you know, going through right now, you know, bah. Yeah, I know I'm making this sound like repeating and everything, and I do apologize. But, but basically I just want other people to know that you're not alone that the other people that are going through this as well. And that's the one thing I always kept in mind that as I went through all this that I'm not alone. Because the minute you start to think that you're alone in all this and everything, that's when things become really, really really problematic so in fact later on I'm going to put a link to yeah especially like a, a number or link to a help helpline you know for at least that's the finding you know 
licensed people to talk about these problems and everything, because I wanted to at least, you know, personally just sort these out before I really reach out to someone to talk about it. Because, like I said, it took me four months to, you know, deal with this because... Man, it's that camp door frame. You would think that with all this, it's like 100% clean, but it's like not. But basically, this is just to, you know... <sighs> For one, to get this out in the open, you know... So that way it's not like inside and something to kind of like, you know, make like a mock about what happened and then sometime later look back on this and basically just see where I came from, from here at some to some point in the future. And also for anyone that listens to this. If you're going through a tough time, and it doesn't have to be like, you know, relationship troubles like I have. It could be a great tragedy, a loss of a loved one. You know, everything, you know, that's bad that can happen. That you're not alone and that you always have some pe you always have, you always have someone like a group, even a stranger that can be very supportive. So that's why I wanted to <sighs> at least get it out there because if I don't, if I didn't make this video, then this is like you know, would we'll just say like you know I haven't really moved on, that I'm still like stuck. Or, as my roommate would say, that, like, I'm in a cage, and... Not really in a cage, because I'm still moving at self-freedom, it's just... It's like learning how to walk again. Like, you have a major bad, a bad accident that renders you unable to use your legs for a little bit. And that, at some point, you have to go for the rehabilitation process in order to... You know, regain the mobility in your legs again. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Is it's basically learning how to... Walk through rehabilitation again. So... And that's why recently on my channel, you might notice some stuff like... The painting, the zero paint hour... The zero builds... Stuff like that. That was like during a time when, one, I was trying to keep myself, you know, busy mentally and everything. So that way I'm not just in my own echo chamber, so to speak. Just thinking about this over and over and over and, and over again. Still, where is... Okay, there we go. But, um... Basically, that was the stuff that I was doing, you know, to keep myself busy and trying to... Just branch out more and what I could do for my channel and everything, you know. Make a variety of different contents and everything. So, cap door frames. I want, hang on, I wonder if you can, like, pinpoint, like, if I select it, can I... This? Okay, there we go. But, um, anyway... 
So that's the situation overall that, you know, what I'm going through and what, you know, what, I, what happened and what I'm still going through. And, you know, it's like now the big question is, is where do I go from here? And for that, you know, that's going to take time to figure out. But like I said that, I know that I'm not alone and that I have, you know, support and everything. And the one thing I do want to at least stress out, like I said, I'm still not going to talk about what happened exactly, but... The one thing I will say about this is, you know, some people were thinking, hearing about that, that would be like, oh, you know, how can one, you know, person do that? And it's like, it's not just one, that it's two sides of every story that essentially I made mistakes in the relationship as well that. I made mistakes based on not having enough information, mistakes based on poor choices, mistakes out of fear, and even mistakes out of ignorance as well. And we're all human, you know? I mean, we're all going to make the mistakes regardless that Anyone that says, like, oh, I don't make mistakes, I ain't perfect and all that. Everybody else is wrong and all that stuff. Like, a classic example would be DSP. That guy, whew, he's a lot and a lot to work with and everything. Based on the stuff I've seen and learned about him, like, Jesus. That, but anyway... Not to derail the topic, but but basically, I'm at fault for some for the things that happen as well, and there's no denying it. But I always believe that we did talk about it. We did, you know, like adults, and you know, resolved it, and we were able to move on and stuff like that, you know. At least that's what I always believed, but... <sighs> Unfortunately, it is what it is. So... But anyway... Before I make this a little bit too long and unnecessary and stuff like that... I do... The one thing I will say... Oh! Okay, there's more stuff under here. There we go. One thing I will say is like a word of advice before I talk about, you know, what I'm going to do now with the channel and stuff like that is, is this, that when you're in a relationship with someone, communication, communication, communication. That's the key to making something work, is communicate. And not just about like everyday things, or even what you feel and everything. It's also important to communicate what you feel, even though it may sound like it could be hurtful. Because if you don't mention something that you've been holding in deep for so long, Eventually, that's going to come up and going to do a lot more damage. So, that's why it's important that even if I, you may feel like it might hurt someone's feelings, but if you don't really talk about it, then that's just going to make the pain a lot worse. It's like, it's like basically like you have your arm circulation cut off 
and there's no blood delivered to your arm. And if you know if you don't get anything done about that, then you know gangrene will set and your arm will decay. Well, not well, not decay, but it will die essentially and rot and everything. So that's why it's important that it may be painful, it may suck, and unfortunately it may cause arguments in the relationship, but you have to be 100% honest with what you feel. Okay, what, what else am I missing here? I mean, I'm spraying everything on this thing here and there. I kind of wish that, you know, you have the option to, like, lift up the vehicle so you can wash under it more effectively. Maybe if I do this. Da, 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 come on. Okay, like that. But, yeah. That's just what I want to say about what happened and... Ah, there we go. But I definitely will leave like a link to... Like some services that you know you can reach out to if you really need to talk to someone. So that way you don't, you know, have to tackle it alone if you can't find... Someone close to you in person for that. Oh, okay, now we work on the bike. Mm, excuse me. But anyway. Now, the one thing I do want to at least... Ugh, what did they do to Cloud's bike? Ugh. Now, about my channel that... Surprisingly, there was a lot of stuff that happened, especially with the shorts that I've done, that kind of like... Jump started my channel on like the on subscribers and everything, which made me shock and everything about was like how did that work? So, but basically, what I'm planning to do for my channel is besides more you know let's plays and stuff like that. Basically, I'm going to do a bit more for the blog, especially for you know like seeing more sites. Trying out more things and stuff like that, especially, you know, for the month of October, which I like to call the month of Halloween, that might do some stuff, you know, related to that. Like, right now I'm in the process of working on playing some horror games, you know, for that month and getting it uploaded as soon as possible, along with some other different stuff. And at the same time with that, there's one thing I'm going to do that's kind of like, you know, that's therapeutic with what happened, and... Yeah, I don't want to give away too soon about that, but you'll definitely see it when it happens and everything. But, yeah, I just wanted to, you know... Just get it out there and everything. Because. Yeah, it just seems like, you know, especially with this game of power washing, that it just definitely feels like one of those things you can just play and just talk about random things in your, that, you know, that come to mind. And everything. It's actually kind of therapeutic doing this and everything, because it's like. You know, my personal life is one giant mess at the moment, and doing this is like trying to clean it up and getting it like every last nick, nick and, you know, every last little spot trying to clean all of it. It's a lot of work and everything, but at the end of it, it all amounts to something important. So, yeah. 
But yeah. Okay, let's just try to finish this bike. Oh, Jesus. Look how to get through. Okay, that's good, that's good. Up. There we go. Clean. Clean. And... Okay, so how much am I done? So... Yeah, I'm almost finished. Eh. Okay. Like I said, even though it's like a simple power wash and everything, this is actually a rather enjoyable game, and yeah, I'll definitely do more of this, you know, to see how far I can go before, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like I've done enough cleaning and stuff like that. Of course, you know, it'll be like other different conversations and stuff like that. You know, not just about, you know, what I'm going through emotionally and everything. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, so what am I missing? Okay, let's see. Front wheel guard. Okay. Still? Okay, what exactly? Let me see. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's done. Um, headlight. I missed that? There we go. And also, one other thing I do want to add is I don't want to give away too much. But let's just say there's also a lot of stuff that's happening here in Beijing that would definitely be something interesting to, you know, make videos about and everything, which I plan to do and all that. But like I said, don't want to give away too much of the surprise. Okay, so what the heck's a swing arm? Skid plate. Okay, that's it there. There we go. Now, what the heck's a swing arm? That's a swing arm? There we go. Alright, we cleaned up the vehicles here. Like a little insta replay. And I ordered $75 for that. 
Yeah, let's just see. Oh. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. Attack while its tail is up, and it will counterattack. Except it's gonna say, Wash it with its tail is up, it's going to attack! Classic mistranslation there, but. Eh, I'll definitely get to do this another time, so. Hmm. Excuse me. In any case, that's all the time I have for this episode, guys. So, as usual, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below. Subscribe for more for your update. Share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social media. And don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel and to turn the notification bell to stay up to date on my channel. And if you guys want to help me out some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below. As usual, guys, thank you for watching. And have a pleasant day. And also, take care of yourselves, alright? And remember, you're not alone. You are not alone. Bye-bye.